Hi class, what I want to do in this lecture here is I want to show you how to use your graphing calculator to find all the basic descriptive statistics. Uh, and then what I want to do is I want to test for an outlier in a data set and then I'm actually going to by hand and with the graphing calculator show you how to sketch the box plot. Alright, so here's our data set, okay? And it's just a data set on uh, commute times for students and how long it takes them in minutes to get to campus. So I have it ordered here, five, seven, eight, nine, da, 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 all the way. Some students take half an hour, 45, 50, and one student takes 100 minutes to get to campus. All right, and I want to find all these things here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take this data first, and I'm going to go plug it into my graphing calculator. So I'm going to hit the stat button. Under number one, I'm going to edit the list. And I'm just going to take and put all this data quickly into the graphing calculator. So you just have to be meticulous here and make sure you get it in correctly. I know it's a bit arduous to do sometimes, but here we're getting it. Okay, so it looks like I've got the data all plugged in correctly into my graphing calculator. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go stat. You're going to go over now to calc. And you want this one dash var stat. Okay, so I'm just going to hit enter. I'm going to scroll down to calculate. Now, if you have a TI-83, just hit enter again. And you're going to see this output right here. Okay, and it's great. So x bar is the mean. So right here, I can just say the mean is 25.73. The range, the calculator doesn't give us, but we know that that is just the highest value minus the lowest. The standard deviation, this was a sample set of data, so it's 24.77. And then if you scroll down on your calculator here, you can see the quartile. So Q1 was 9, Q2 was the median is 20, and Q3 is 30. Okay, so now what you're going to need to find is to test for outliers. So if you remember here, you need the interquartile range first here to do this. So I'll go back and I'll, let's put that in. So that's Q3 minus Q1. So that's 30 minus 9, which gets me 21. So you need the lower cutoff. The lower cutoff was Q1. 9 minus 1.5 times the IQR, which was 21. All right, there's for sure no lower outlier because there's no negative values in here. And now the upper outlier, you're going to take Q3, which is 30, plus 1.5 times that IQR. And any value above 61.5 is an outlier. So yes, 100 is an outlier. All right, so now I want to show you how to do the box plot um, by hand here. So if you're going to construct a box plot by hand, remember what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to draw a number line. All right. And forgive me, it's not perfectly straight, but I'm going to start at 0, and I'm going to go every 10. So the first thing you do is you go to the first quartile, which is 9. You're going to put a little box, a little line. You're going to go to the third quartile, which is 30, and that's going to finish your box. Then you're going to go to the second quartile, which is 20. You're going to put a line in. Then you draw a whisker down to the minimum value, which is 5. It's supposed to be 5 there, so forgive that that it's not exactly at 5 there. It's a little bad. but And then since there's an outlier of 100, you're going to go and you're going to put a little asterisk. There's the outlier. And then what you do is you go to the next highest value and you draw the whisker of the box plot out to that. And this is what our box plot would look like with the outlier. I'm going to show you how to do this again in your calculator real quickly. So again, you're going to make sure that your stat plot is turned on. So second function, stat plot. Here I have it off, so I'm going to click Enter. I'm going to make sure it's on. I'm going to scroll down to Type, and I want the box plot with that outlier right there. 
So when that's hit, I hit enter. And then what you're always gonna do, instead of just jumping and hitting graph, go to your zoom button and you want number nine. So zoom stat, and you're gonna hit enter. And look, this box plot is exactly, well, close to what you see on my uh, drawing it by hand. All right, class, I know that was quick, but as you can see, your graphing calculator can do this for you very, very, very quickly. So I encourage you to use it when you can. Thanks, class.